today and uh, welcome to this week's gig log which actually almost didn't get uploaded because I didn't get a lot of footage and uh, I'm just sitting here editing it down and I thought well you know what are people going to learn from watching this gig log because that's what I like to do when I watch a gig log I want to learn something and that's one of the reasons I started this whole YouTube thing, you know, I've become a much better DJ just watching other DJs from all around the world on YouTube. So I'm thinking, I'm watching this gig log, I'm thinking, well, what can I share? What can people learn? Uh, and then I remembered something the promoter told me at the end of my set. And I'll tell you what he said after you watch the gig log. Hey guys, got a bit of a different gig log. I've done a lot of weddings in the last few weeks. I'm doing a bit of a, a bar lounge type of place tonight in uh, Melton. Um, it's not a very big joint. I'll let you have a bit of a look around in a second. Um, just about to go on. I'll just quickly show you the equipment they've got here. They're just uh, CDJ 1000s, DJ M600 mixer, and uh, I'm using uh, my uh, tractor setup. That's uh, all I got from that night. Uh, I actually had a good time there. I did the opening set at this um, club lounge. I got this gig basically through Damo, who you probably saw in the background there at the start. Uh, one of his uh, friends that he knows happens to be the promoter at this venue. And uh, they're not regularly open on a Sunday and they needed a couple of extra DJs. So um, I said I would come along and uh, also invited uh, Thomas to come along and DJ as well. So, like I said at the start, I, I almost didn't film, or I almost didn't upload this gig log because well, there wasn't much footage there and I'm thinking, well, you know, when I watch a gig log, I want to learn something. And I'm thinking, if I put this up, what are people going to learn? And then I remembered something that the promoter told me and he basically said, look, John, although not many people danced until towards the end of your set, it was pretty much the perfect opening set. So I thought, aha, I can share that with you. So I've actually recorded what I played that night and you will be able to download it. So there's a, a, a link in the description uh, and you can download the actual set that I played. You miss a little bit at the start and a little bit at the end, uh, but you'll get the idea of exactly what I played that night. Very commercial set because I mean, my philosophy on the opening set is 
to basically play the hits, you know? It's not the time to be experimenting with what you think is gonna be a hit in two or three months time. Um, people aren't drunk enough yet for that. So early on, play the hits, and if you get a set, you know, maybe after 11, 12 o'clock at night, that's when you would start experimenting with some of the new tunes because basically at that time of the night, you know, after midnight, all they want is something with a good beat they can dance to. Um, so that's my philosophy on an opening set. Uh, if any of the more experienced guys or anyone else has got any uh, suggestions that they can give to other DJs, please, please put them down below. And, you know, let's help uh, somebody uh, become a better DJ because, let's face it, that's what we're all doing this for. So uh, until next time, practice and enjoy.